Simangele Rosemary Zulu was born on the 30th of May, 1974, in Durban, South Africa. The first child of Madame Busisiwe Zemeth, she came to be known as Nomti after a family friend named her Nomtandazo, meaning woman of prayer. She attended Domino Savite School, an independent Christian school in the KwaZulu-Natal Midlands, South Africa. She credited her school with cultivating her lifelong habit of starting every day with a morning devotion. Raised in a deeply committed home, Pastor Nomti grew up within a close-knit church community. In 1987, she made a conscious decision to give her life to Christ. Confession, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hey! She attended the Natal College of Education, where she got her higher diploma in education and worked as a teacher in South Africa for eight years. She then moved to London in 2002, where she continued to work as a teacher. She joined Triumphant Church International under the leadership of Pastors Clem and Marjorie Esomoe. A dedicated member of the choir, TCI Shouts of Joy, she rose to become the choir's music director. It was whilst ministering as part of this choir that she was spotted by Pastor Taiwo when he went to London to preach at TCI's Dominion Conference in 2008. They have two sons together, Timilei and Jomiloju, and six grandchildren through the children from Pastor Taiwo's first marriage, Pastors Tolu, Jimmy and Toby. Pastor Nomti quickly endeared herself to the Fountain of Life Church pastorate and members with her joyful disposition, palpable love of Christ and kindness. In a bid to curb the menace of sexual abuse and molestation of children, Pastor Nomti wrote, No, don't touch me there, one of the best-selling children's books in Nigeria to educate children on how they can protect themselves from abuse. Over the years, she spoke in various schools to children and adults about child protection and donated free copies of her books to students in public schools in Lagos. Testimonies abound of how these books have helped to prevent child abuse. She founded a not-for-profit organization, Fundawazi Foundation, which means learn and know in her native Zulu language. The foundation has been committed to developing and distributing child-friendly resources to educate, equip, and empower children and adults to confront abuse and social ills. Apart from the book, No, Don't Touch Me There, Pastanomti authored several other books for children, as well as two volumes of stories for adults, titled 40 Real Life Lessons and Enjoy Your Life. She published these resources and more via the social enterprise she established called Yazi Wednesday Limited, which means know and do in Zulu. Pastanomti was also the inaugural president of the Board of Trustees, Grace Springs Cooperative Multipurpose Society, from June 2012 to April 2017. The cooperative was established to facilitate financial independence as well as investment management and growth by promoting the economic interest of all members, encouraging regular saving habits and providing credit facilities to members at fair and reasonable interest rates for provident and productive purposes. During her tenure, the cooperative grew from 20 people to over 1,200 men and women who have benefited immensely from its various schemes. Pastor Nomti was also the chairperson of Fountain Initiative for Social Development, a faith-based non-profit organization committed to the entrepreneurial development and empowerment of underprivileged individuals and communities across Nigeria. She was also the head of Home Affairs, the Married Women's Fellowship of the Fountain of Life Church, and Fine Wine, a mature singles fellowship for people over 40. Pastor Nomti became known for her catchphrase, enjoy your life, as she constantly encouraged people to enjoy their lives regardless of their circumstances. She was fondly nicknamed the President of Enjoy Your Life Incorporated, as she set about spreading the message of enjoying one's life in Christ Jesus to the nations. In her lifetime, she spoke at various platforms across Africa, Europe and North and South America. On the 9th of November 2021, after a bravely fought battle with cancer, Pastor Nomti transitioned to glory, having inspired those around her with her unwavering faith and commitment to sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ 
even in the face of illness. We will sorely miss Pastor Nomti, but hallelujah, no go finish for our mouths. <laughs>